Hello everyone, this is Impact and today I just had to show you this train design, train station design which I have come up with myself while I was trying to think of a design for my LP world. Well the design of the LP was about 20 20 diameter yeah diameter square a eh, circle but trying to come up with a nice design aesthetically and as well as function function wise so I come up with this one which doesn't really work very well but I like the the full design very much and then I was playing around and I come up with this what I wanted was like when I entered the place and there'll be like it says to choose from so I just, I just like I see this point A and this is point B I say I'm going to point A I just go to point A push a button there and then the minecart drops down and then I can just get on it and be on my way to point A and if it's point B stupid glass stone the same thing will happen if I press the button a uh, minecart will drop onto another track and then go to the track, press the button and I'm off so that was the idea which I wanted and I come up with this this design I haven't seen this on online anywhere, I just come up with it so I don't know if it's like, ripping, off it from, ripping it off from someone else but I spent quite long with this just try to get it right yeah so the idea is Say this is your entrance, you come in, then I want to let's see how to go to the to the red one. So press the red one. My card drops down, get on the card and be on my way. So let's get the sword. Same way if I want to go to the cyan one. Let's go to cyan, get on it, press and bye bye. Yeah, so as you can see, each button only drops one. I think I ran out. Wow, you saw it just now. Each button only drops one minecart on each track on the selected track. It's even color coded over here. It's so nice and colorful, right? Yeah, so these are departures and these are arrivals. So once you get up here, just press the button and you're off. But you need a block behind. So what I did was when I press the button, this turn comes out from behind and then it will allow the minecart to be pushed as to push a minecart you need a block behind a power rail and then the minecart here. If you don't have this block it will not go even though the track receives power yeah and so yeah the thing is I couldn't find a way to only get like only the selected block to come up so like so I'm gonna come up for both come up to the left come up to the left come up to the left so practically only this one is correct it's working 100% but it doesn't matter anyway because if you want to go to green it doesn't matter if there's a you, you won't have a like, mine card here so what does it matter oops alright so let me show you how the arrival works so let's say all oh, these are outbound tracks and these are inbound you come in Yep, you arrive here, get off, you can either push the minecart a bit which doesn't really work, or you can, oops, so you arrive here, come up, press the button, what, what, oh there's a, yeah, if there's an item on the track it will block the minecart, but if there isn't, then you just go back up to storage and the storage is another problem 
now this brings me to the pros and cons of this thing. The pros is uh it's nice, I mean like side by side. Don't think there's another other other train station designs like this. Side by side is very nice and do need some complex destination selector kind of thing. It just drops to, to the correct track and then it just on your own, just go on your way. Yep, as a pros and it's nice, simple to use. The cons, well, one thing is it's quite big. It's like around twenty times fifteen, I would say, including the wiring, and the height will be rather high also. Yeah, but that also depends on how high the ceiling is. Which mine is four blocks high. Yep, and the arrivals thing doesn't really work. As in, you don't, you can't really get it. I, I do not know how to get it to, to the correct, like to a, to a empty. Like since it's empty, so I, do, I don't know how to make it go to the empty. To the empty uh, pass dispenser. So you might have to manually load it like this. You can hold up to five at once. Oops. Oops. Oh, see, that's an overflow. So if the extra, it will just flow somewhere else, and yeah, that's a, that's another problem. Let's do that. One, two, three, and you kind of reload it very fast. If yeah, something that will happen. So slowly, one by one. Okay. So I have five. And let me go through the wiring with you. So, this is the the thing we choose where to go. So if I press the red one, it will send the power from here. This one. It will travel upwards. That's a redstone staircase. Up. Up here under as a repeater to extend the power it goes up and into the pass dispenser. And this is the pass dispenser, it's a very, very compact one. It just works like this stone here, redstone, green torch. Then you have your where is it? trap door. Over here, so the power go to this block. On it, the button. Button, where are you? Where's the button? Oh. Yeah, and so this is the pass dispenser. Yeah, default state will be up like that. So you drop one mine card at a time. Yep. So come up here, pass dispenser, operates. It doesn't really work on you. <gasps> and that's another problem. If you come up to it and you 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 spoil it very easily. I mean it's very fragile. Especially in creative mode, which is so stupid. Alright. So let's so let's say I receive the power and only one force on. The first time was a fit. <laughs> yeah. So and then same with, same goes with the uh, the blue one. But I have to you have to alternate it so that one is redstone, one is repeater, one is redstone, one is repeater, and so on and so forth. And it will get more complicated the more stations we have. So the lesser the better. I have 5 here and it's killing me. So the blue one, same way. Staircase up. Staircase up, up, up. To here. And then there's the passage. And sometimes, you see, it jams up because I pushed it out of place just now. Yeah, and then. Can have any items on it. 
or that will happen. So the same way for the cyan one, let's make sure the the lines do not cross and you should be good to go. Pass Spencer. Yep. You have to have this block here. So that when the, the minecart comes you ram into it and it has to fall down. Alright. So this is the this is my minecart. This is my take on the minecart. Uh minecart station. I'm not sure if I, I will use it in my LP and I would really love to know how to fix this fix the arrivals so that it will go to a selected okay to a selected one without taking up more space uh, if, if you guys know how to do that, please, please do tell me in the comments or something. And yeah. So, thank you for watching. And this is my minecart station. Bye bye.